Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I will be showing you another Buddha Power Blues song. I will be showing you how I play it, what gear I use to record it, to play it live. If you have been watching the show, if you have been following the show, you know I'm doing this once a month, showing you how I played the live sessions of the new record in front of an audience. So we don't have video clips, we always play it live and record it live. And th that's a different version from the record, but we prefer it that way. It's more truthful to you guys. Uh, this is not a song from the new record, but it is also included in the in the live sessions of that record. It is uh, called I Lost a Friend, and it, it is a song where we invited Vitor Bacalhau, a good friend of mine, a great, great, great musician, a great guitar player and singer. He has a, a band of his own. I produce his two records till this moment, and it is a, a great honor to have him on on stage with us. Uh, I think music is all about sharing, all about um, getting shared emotions and shared music. And Vitor came in to, to play a very special song. Ironically, the song is called I Lost a Friend and we invited a friend, so it should be called I Gained a Friend, but uh, <laughs> that's not the thing. Uh, it is a very intense song with a James Bondish feel. So it has an intro, I play it on the bridge pickup, with the Gen Ray on and the two delays on. So if you if you have not watched any of the episodes, please watch the, the first ones where I explain it deeply, but I'm using the Lone Star in, in one side, the Black Magic, the Supra Black Magic in another side. So I'm playing stereo and you are listening to it in stereo if you are using earbuds or good speakers. I have the ARDX20 going to the to the Supro and the MXR carbon copy going to the Lone Star. The Lone Star has reverb always on and they are both set moderately clean, just on the verge of, of compression. So for this tone, I have the Gen Ray on and the del delays on for a stereo. Okay. The hum, I'm close to the amp, so pardon me for the hum. That's basically the song. Uh, it has a solo, uh, an improvised solo. I will explain to you the parts now, uh, but um, it's super simple. I play the, the first riff with the Gen Ray 2 on, but um, and with the delays, I will play it without, without any pedal, so you can really figure out what I'm playing. So the bass chord is this one. It is an A minor song. And I'm playing it um, on James Bondish melody. So it is, you are raising the five to six, uh, to flat six, to six, to flat six, to five, flat six, six. And I'm introducing a melody. I always do it. 
I, I love to play melodies on top. I'm used to it. I'm playing a trio, so I, I'm used to, to play all the rules. So this is the basic. <laughs> Okay, so the melody is done, then I go to the 4, D minor 7, and a 2, 5, 1, B flat, uh, B minor flat 5, then a E7 sharp 9, E7 flat 9, A minor, then we ascend to A minor 6, F7, E7, and then the riff. This is a mix between a James Bond thing and a Johnny Cash uh, riff. Okay. Uh, and then, with this, this is not a song from our latest record, it is a song from our record Blues Experience. Uh, uh, an experience we did with a jazz singer uh, about and around the blues so mixing jazz and blues and mixing a singer that is not from the blues scene uh, and making her sing the blues her own way uh, this is a song of that record and when we play with her I, I no longer play with this pedal board I play with a very a super much simpler board but when we play with her with this board, I had this swell for the solo, for her solo, and I used it in this uh, recordings. I use it for Vitor's solo, solo, and it is a swell planned, uh, provided by the M5, the Line Six M5. So it is here, uh, and I add also the 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 delays after it. So it, it's like this.
Okay, so we, we end it with a James Bond chord. Uh, let me take off the, the delays, which is uh, A minor with, with major seven. That's it, that's simply it. And uh, Vitor, while I'm playing the melody, he's playing it high. He's playing the melody one octave up, and that's it. We split the solo, and that's, that's basically it. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe the YouTube channel and share it with the world. We'll see each other next week. Here's the full song. Hey